Welcome to the dad bod. This is my first video, so I wanted to give you a little background as to why I decided to start this channel. I've spent the last seven years working in a place where you wear jeans and a polo shirt. I haven't worn a suit since the last time the world was ending in 2012. Once COVID started, my position was moved to a work from home position, which meant I was wearing nothing but a t-shirt and shorts every day. It wasn't long before I was in a rut. My confidence, my self-worth, they were all at an all-time low. I decided I needed a change and I needed to try to get back to dressing better. I remember how strong my confidence was and how much pride I had when I wore my navy dress uniforms. Obviously I can't wear them now, but I can still dress sharp. So one weekend my family and I went out shopping. We went into a men's warehouse and I found out how quickly that four kids, all girls, in a men's clothing store was a bad idea. They got bored and it was like herding cats. I also found out that since I last went suit shopping, I've put on a few pounds and it's nearly impossible to find something that actually fits. So I went online and I started watching videos, reading blogs, everything that I can find. I realized that nearly all of these people doing the reviews are slim or fairly fit. The information that they provided didn't always translate over to those of us who are on the taller side or who carry a few extra pounds. So I started trying new things out. I, 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 you know, some of the things worked out for the better, some of them not as well. But I acquired a good deal of knowledge along the way, something that I felt that others could benefit from and even save you from spending money on things that don't fit. You know, a $25 shirt is a great deal over a $50 shirt. But if you never wear that $25 shirt, you're out the $25 and you still need a shirt. So in this video series, I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks that I've found to help elevate my style with my body type, as well as reviewing some subscription services and clothing manufacturers that I found to do well to accommodate various body types and still provide quality products. I'm limited on the reviews that I can do over the next few weeks because I just moved and my office isn't fully set up yet. In this video, I'm going to review a watch subscription service called Watch Gang. I'm not a paid reviewer for Watch Gang. They didn't ask me to review their subscription service and I have not been compensated in any way. I stumbled across their website after seeing several ads online and I decided to give them a try. They offer three tiers to their subscription. The original tier, which is $50 per watch, and it gives you what they call stylish and fashionable watches worth around $150. Could be more than $150, could be less, but that's the average. The black tier, which is $100 per watch, and it gives you affordable luxury watches worth around $500. And the platinum tier, which is $300, and it gives you super luxury watches worth around $1,500. You can have them deliver on a monthly, a quarterly, or an on-demand basis. This channel is called The Dad Bod, so I need to make sure that I can still afford food for four of the most picky eaters in the world, and since I'm not sponsored, I opted to try the black tier. In total, I received four watches from them before I ended my subscription, which you can do at any time without penalty. I received some nice looking watches, however, without being able to set any specifications such as watch size preference or watch strap material, you could possibly end up getting watches that you'll never wear. Not all subscribers get the same watch each month. There's multiple watches that get sent out to different people at random. The first watch that I received is the Jerome Lamars. It's listed on their website for $795 retail. I got it for $100, so not that bad of a deal. It's a beautiful automatic watch. It's got a rotating bevel in case you ever want to go diving. I probably never will. I was, however, a little disappointed when I found out that they're selling on eBay for between $80 and $125. The next watch I received was this Simplify the 5100 watch. Their website has since closed down, so I don't think the company is still making watches, but you can still find them on resellers such as Amazon, and you can usually find them for between $100 and $200. However, you can also find them on eBay listed as new for around the $50 mark. I ended up trying my hand at their spin the wheel. It gives you a chance of getting a middle or higher end watches with a chance of even getting a luxury watch such as Rolex or Tudor or Omega. I received this Heritor automatic land and watch. It's an uh, automatic watch with a brown leather band at its website. It retails for $885. 
It's not that bad. It only cost me $225 worth of points to spin the wheel for that level to get it. It is a bit large for my wrist and it's quite thick, so I really don't wear it that often. And you can right now find them on eBay for around $450, but I'm not seeing where any of them are actually selling. My final watch from Watch Gang is the Heritor Matador. Also, another automatic. It's a beautiful watch, but I've noticed that it runs a bit fast. Each day it tends to gain around three to four minutes. I've reached out to Watch Gang and to the manufacturer, and I keep getting the runaround. It lists for just under $900, but you can also find them on eBay for around the $450 mark, but again, it doesn't appear that any of them are actually selling. So this is their spin the wheel. Based on the number of points that you're willing to spend, we'll get you different wheels that you can choose from. So as you can see right here, the wheel number three gives you three tier three watches two tier four watches, one tier five, one tier six, and then it lets you pick from the grail watches, which is your Tudors and your Rolex. So for these, you actually look through and you pick the watch that you would like for that one. You can pick it just for one or you can pick it for all three. That way, if it lands on any one of those three, you'll get the watch that you picked. All in all, I didn't feel like this was worth sticking with. Yes, the watches have a high value to them, but with a little bit of research, you could easily see that the retail price is not what people are willing to pay for them. As a business owner, you can set whatever price you want, but it doesn't mean it's worth what you set. It's worth what people are willing to pay for it. And many of these websites for the watches look brand new. I've looked on their domains and the domains have been registered for 6, 12, 18 months, which means these companies themselves are brand new and mostly unknown. I've actually had better luck with Amazon. They have a huge selection of watches to choose from without the high markup. You guys know Amazon. Everybody does. You can see the watch size, the strap size, the watch face and color. You can see if it's got the date or the day and the date or just the time. You can find the watch that you love, order it, know exactly what you're getting. And just because the retail price is lower doesn't mean the quality is. I've found several nice watches on Amazon that I've either added to my collection like this one right here or that I've added to a list to be able to get at a later time. You know, wooden watches, minimalist watches, skeleton watches, and even some unique ones. You know, you, you can find $30 quartz watches that keep time better than a $10,000 Rolex watch. So in the end, I felt that Watch Gang was not the best place for me to acquire new watches. If you like surprises and you like watches, then by all means, give Watch Gang a try. Like I said, the watches I got were beautiful watches. I just prefer to have a little bit more control over what I get. I'll put a link below in the description to Watch Gang so you can get 50 points when you sign up. These points can be used towards spinning the wheel to get watches or accessories.